First of all, we're going to discuss the United States Navy of shooting um, the Houthi uh, boats in the Red Sea. And was it really necessary to shoot, the, to shoot them in, in the sea? And then we're going to discuss the, the idea of trying to sexualize October 7, trying to turn October 7 from a, a, a military operation to a sexual operation where women were raped and their breasts were cut off. This is what's going on right now in the United States. There's a movement and there's a narrative to create that the Palestinian are sex addicts or sex monsters or criminals or savages. We're going to go over that. We have a small uh, video we're going to show you. It's a long video, but I'm only going to show you a little bit of it. And then um, we're going to discuss the, um, what else are we going to discuss? Let me see what I wrote. That. The Israeli um, withdrawal. The Israeli, the Israeli has, uh, as you know, they have 380,000 uh, uh, per army personnel outside Gaza. 380,000. That's not, you could invade the Europe with that. So uh, most of them are reservists, people who worked in factories, who worked in offices, and they had to pay them. And the Israeli's economy was about to collapse. So they released all the, uh, the, the reservists. There are about 120,000 Israeli soldiers in Gaza, and they are losing, my friend. When you're fighting for somebody else's home and land, you're not going to win. You only win when you're defending your home and your land and your family. That's the only time you win. This is a very logical conclusion. Israel will be uh, um, will be defeated, inshallah. Israel will be defeated, inshallah, in Gaza. And it's good for Israel. Believe it or not, it's going to be good for Israel and good for the Jews. Because if they're humble and they understand the idea that they're lost in a war with a ragtag militia like Hamas, then they, they, they'll understand that it's time to make peace.